How to assemble your PDF sewing pattern from disparate disciplines. First, you're going to want to open up your PDF file in whatever PDF reader you're using. Now, uh, it is possible that if you're using a Mac and you open up your pattern in preview, in the preview app, that not everything will print perfectly to scale. It's possible that, say, almost the whole thing will print to scale except for a very small portion. So the recommended reader is Adobe Reader. It's free to download and it's perfectly safe. So once you get that opened up, go to File up in the menu bar, then click on Print. Now, mine is automatically set to custom scale, but chances are yours will automatically be set to shrink oversized pages or depending on the program you're using, shrink to fit page or scale to fit page. That's bad. That will give you a pattern that is printed out either too large or too small and the sizing will be all wonky. So make sure you click something that says actual size or custom scale and set that custom scale to 100%. Something else you might want to consider is making sure that you're printing in grayscale, meaning black and white, on the computer using it might say print in economy mode. Now we're going to want to print the first page. Uh, that way you can double check the scale to make sure that everything printed out perfectly correctly. Uh, if you, especially if you've got an older printer, even if you set things correct in you know the program you're using, it might not be 100% perfect. If things don't print out to scale, then you know, you've only printed that one page. It's only one piece of paper you've wasted. Once you've got all your pages set, click print. Now that everything is printed out, go to your first page that you just printed off and grab some materials. You're going to need a ruler. Optional is a rotary cutter and mat. I'm going to show you two different ways to cut out your pattern. If you don't have a rotary cutter and mat, not to fret because you can use just a basic pair of scissors. Just make sure that they're not your fabric scissors because paper, I guarantee you, will dull them really quickly. You're also going to want a pen or a pencil and make sure that you're using clear um, tape that is either invisible or matte. Now, if you use the glossy tape, it will be harder to mark on if you need to, say, make alterations to the pattern or modifications uh, for a better fit. So once you've got your materials and your first page, test that first page. There's a two by two inch test square. Um, it should measure that or if you're in metrics, that's 5.08 centimeters by 5.08 centimeters. So now we can move on to the next step. Check the partial star in the bottom right hand corner of the page. It should look like the partial star in inside the test square. If it doesn't, you may need to enable borderless printing in your print settings. Then print the pages how you want to. And by that I mean, if you want to print the instructions, print them. Same for the envelope and for the pattern pieces themselves. That's uh, because disparate discipline sewing patterns come with printing guides. So you only print the style option and the size that you need. Um, on the pattern I'm showing you today, the yellowtail camisole, it's really straightforward. You're going to need to print all the pages for the pattern, but for something like say the summer crisp skirt, it can really save you a ton of pages to just take a moment and look at the printing guide. Um, you'll only end up printing half or even less than the pages for one of the options. So once you've got all your pages printed out, it's time to assemble them. Lay them out so the corners form stars like the one seen on the printing guide, that first page you printed out. Um, each star will be broken up into quarters and each quarter will correspond to sort of a quadrant, say A1, A2, A3, A4, and then the next corner of pages will be B1, B2, B3, B4, and so forth. Now the tiled pages will form a rectangle um, and you can see a picture of that on the first page, the printing guide. So the two methods I'm going to show you on how to assemble your PDF pattern are uh, perhaps a bit faster, hopefully, than what you've seen before. 
you can either clip up to the lines that need to be connected instead of cutting off the margin around the entire sheet of paper, which can take a while if you're just using scissors. Um, and with that, only go for the black lines. Um, you can kind of ignore the gray lines that make a border around the paper. Or you can use a ruler and an X-Acto knife or a rotary cutter to trim off the margins of the pages outside of the gray lines. Make sure that you cut off the paper that's outside of the gray lines. Otherwise, you'll be cutting off parts of your actual pattern pieces. Now, once all of your pages are cut out, um, overlap the trimmed pages on top of an untrimmed page. That means that you don't have to, you know, cut around each and every page, but say you can choose to just cut off the right side and the bottom of every page, except for the ones on the very end where you won't need to cut off the right side. And same for the ones on the very bottom. Just saves you some time as you're going along. Now, you may like to lay out all of the tiled pages all at once so you can see how everything goes together. That's perfectly fine. I, however, choose to lay out just the pages and assemble the pattern pieces as I'm going because that might not always have a ton of room on which to work. So if I see that, hey, this half of this pattern piece clearly matches up with this other one, I'll just start assembling it right there before I'm even done laying everything out. It's up to you. Just do whatever you find is easiest. So that's it. It's not really hard to assemble a PDF sewing pattern. Uh, it can take some time, especially if you're using a really large pattern, but I like to use that as an excuse to watch TV because then I can say, oh, I'm being productive. I'm assembling my pattern when I'm, you know, just watching TV. So that's all. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, give me a buzz. You can find my contact information at disparatedisciplines.com. So thanks again, guys. Happy sewing.